so i think uh, this question we once said that uh, within uh, for chandrayaan 4 there will be like a 15 degree 15 days delta between launch 1 and launch 2 uh, okay so that is done what is so uh, earlier at when you uh, when you ex- unveiled chandrayaan 4 those uh, posters there were saying up to 5 kg of payload at that event that there were some posters what is 5 kg of payload maybe the 5 kg of like sample a, 5 kg of sample return okay okay that's uh, not the payload 5 <laughs> kg of sample return okay which itself would be a world uh, record if done because i think china has done two missions 1.9 kg 1.7 kg approximately 3 kg 3.6 in two missions still targeting 5 kg yeah 5 kg is targeted because it it's based on the current estimate of the mass of the different stages mm-hmm. so if it uh, turns out to be bad uh, towards detail engineering we will see how because that how big is the drill uh, or the auger what is it drill or auger what do you call it you generally this called augers because ah. augers are the extracting material right, they so bring call, material so it's not drill really ah. but it's not the, we are going to collect samples in various types it's not drilling and taking we will hmm. have to take surface samples we right. have to take a deeper samples hmm. we have done some drilling in the last and then three also no you have seen yes yes yeah so that type of drive systems we have hmm. but this is slightly different because we need to not only drill Hmm. but you have to collect the sample correct, correct. and containerize it yeah so there is some robotic details uh-huh. that we worked out yeah. and the not only the containerize the container also should be stacked in some unit uh-huh. and after that some other position it has to take be taken out and put in some other unit correct so there are multiple robotic activity involved so yeah. currently the details are currently we worked out we are not worked out everything in detail yeah we were probing that uh, cad uh, images yeah, no, so there look like there were two disks on the am and then they are only right now only in the preliminary design only completed details will have to work out okay details plus its failure mode handling its uh, contingency so many things will have to come out okay this uh, uh, earth bound module the reentry module for chandrayaan 4 does it have sre heritage in a in a way yes because it is going to be a system which will be more of a the shape will not be like the uh, kr or the human space flight it will mm. be more of a conical type not the flat disk type yeah. basically with a high heat flux tip arrangement so it is more more closer to sre than to the human right. crew module what happened to sre you know i was always wondered because it, after first sre there was a lot of discussions about another uh, next sre being flown or some like a bigger scale but we, we never saw Uh, yeah, it was it, it started working on it but it didn't continue because uh, by the time we felt that this configuration has no longevity mm. sre is good from a different perspective because it was an uh, you know that shape was not of a uh, the type that you later we need mm-hmm. later we need a more of a you know the human space craft mm-hmm. type of a more a flatter disk type mm-hmm. where you can you know navigate the aerodynamic right, uh, right. character by appropriate pitch maneuvers mm-hmm. by the control system and also the center of gravity positioning mm-hmm. you can control its uh, travel right uh, impact point can be you know trimmed mm-hmm. whereas in sre this trimming is not possible right because you have a sharper configuration correct, that correct. it doesn't give you that trimming capability yeah coming so, nose first uh, uh, and it also has a high heat flux nose whereas the the heat flux is much much lower in humans packer with a flatter right. you know this so we understood that sr is okay to start mm. with uh, the initial deboosting delta v reduction and then the impacting is concerned but this is not a configuration that will have a lasting configuration so we didn't continue we yeah. wanted to go it into kr then that's why the kr came mm-hmm. and uh, in lvm the first mission that configuration was tested yeah no sre was very like quite ahead of its time for when it flew yeah, uh, right. even like now you have startups proposing the small capsules for in space manufacturing and all of that uh, no doubt was... about it because it achieved the precision mm-hmm. at that point right. uh, especially with the liquid engine control etc yeah i visited uh, Tiruvannathapuram uh, so museum. Ah, yeah. uh, the SRE is there. Uh, nice. Uh, one thing. Okay, so we had seen two configurations of Chandrayaan four, roughly. One was where each launch had its own propulsion module, and they go separately to moon, and uh, they come back. The one that seems to be on those uh, uh, launch diagrams are the like a single stack going together to the moon with one propulsion module, uh, like. I wanted to understand uh, like how are this because in terms of redundancy redundancy that individual launch feels right because you can take your time to launch the second one as well as the second one has its own propulsion module 
in this case, everything has to dock in Earth orbit, then again and dock in Moon orbit. And uh, yeah, we were looking at multiple options and also maximizing the launch capability. You know, we'll have to get the weight of the whole of this mass has to be split between two launches. Right. And uh, both has to be nearly equal. Hmm. So then we found this is the only configuration that is workable in that arrangement. Otherwise, one will be heavier than the other. Uh, so that is not feasible. Feasible also. And uh, docking in Earth orbit is more safer uh, mm -hmm. to start with than in going to Moon orbit and dock at this moment because we can handle it much better. So we will go to an elliptical orbit docking maneuvers mm -hmm. in Earth orbit and go as a single unit. And if you go as a single unit. Uh, even then, one of the propulsion module has to be discarded midway, and you have to reverse and use the next one. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, while you are going in the translunar direction, uh -huh. so then only we'll reach moon. Oh. This was uh, okay. So the uh, base of propellant man management between hmm. these two, we uh -huh. need to have this configuration. So uh, after all exercise we did, initially some many ex many configuration would have come out. Uh -huh. So okay, all after so much detailed study, okay, we uh, we concluded this is the most. Uh, uh, efficient with the least mass option at this moment, considering the launch vehicle capability. If you had higher capability, you would have gone a different option. Right. So, uh, one thing I was wondering is, do you, roughly 5 tons on either of the modules, roughly, and each of them will be joined by that docking module. Are, is this docking module going to be like a special, like strengthened one? Because this, even if, the, if, you, if you roll or try to pitch or your lot of forces will be going on that one docking module. You will understand the thrust is very small now. So the engine thrust is extremely small, huh. 800 Newton, mm -hmm. 80 kilogram, uh, four engines you put together. So it's not that a huge force that will cause any problem for the joint. Okay. Not like a launcher low acceleration, mm -hmm. it is a very small acceleration. So it's not a major issue. Okay. You don't need such a hard docking. Mm. A typical standard docking interface is good enough. Okay. And so many engines on uh, uh, Chandrayaan 4 lander, like what is the targeted mass to surface, like how much can you carry payload to the surface besides the lander? Besides the lander? Like yeah. roughly 4, 40 kg I think was uh, on See, Chandrayaan the Chandrayaan 3 we had a certain Chandrayaan mass, huh. okay. Uh, this will be, this will be slightly more, hmm. slightly more because we need to have the propellant to take on and reach the orbit. Hmm. So from that point of view some mass is, I don't remember exactly the quantity of the mass, hmm. Hmm. but uh, that engines will be similar only. So we are not developing a new engine or anything for that purpose. So that using the current engines only, we are going to have the Chandrayaan 4. So I don't remember the mass exactly. Okay. 